all of a sudden, I got like a tap on the back. I'm going to expose a few people, bitch. I low-key need some water to tell you this because it's actually pissing me off. She was hysterically laughing in my face and I just feel all their eyes looking at me. Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Kami and welcome back to my channel. I have an interesting video for you guys today. It's gonna be pretty juicy, so make sure you sit back and relax. Before all the comments are saying stuff like, you look so rough, get some sleep. I've had about four hours of sleep this weekend and I've been completely ill. It turns out I'm allergic to bread or some shit. Like I low-key can't eat that stuff without feeling sick. Yeah, my life is so problematic, I hate myself. It's fine though, I'm okay, I think. I'm low-key going to the doctors tomorrow, but like what can you do about it? Absolutely nothing. The time is literally 12.20 and I've just gotten back from Birmingham. That was an experience. I've never been to a place like Birmingham before. Low-key don't want to go back, but it's all chill. Because this video is so juicy, I'm gonna need you guys to smash the frick out of that thumbs up button. Honestly, just do it. It's so easy. And also, subscribe if you haven't already. You do not want to miss out on my future videos coming up. Have I even spoken about what I'm talking about in this video? I'm talking about an event called Hello World in this video. So yeah, make sure you subscribe so you get to actually see the vlogs from that event. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going so off track, but today I am talking about an event called Hello World. Hello World, what's good? I'm suicidal. <laughs> okay, so if you're sat at home wondering what this event called Hello World is, sit back and relax because I'm about to explain it. I actually went to this event so I can actually tell you my experience of what I experienced at this event. I'm not going to talk about this event in a bad way purely because I haven't actually experienced it in a bad way. I had so much fun at this event. Even though I wasn't on the lineup, even though the whole of the lineup was Alfie Days' friends, I'm not really surprised I wasn't on it. If you don't know why, then you're literally dumb. Like, subscribe. You should have subscribed sooner, realistically. You missed that Alfie Days beef. It's like old news now. Did I mention I'm sat on my kitchen floor right now? Because I don't think I did and I feel like I have to because it's kind of awkward. I don't know why. Subscribe. I also don't think I've mentioned that I've been through so much traveling and I feel so shit right now and I've had no sleep. Please do not judge me. I'm a human being. I have feelings. I don't. I don't have feelings. I don't know why I said that. I literally have no emotion at all. I'm such a mess. Why am I always going off topic? So if you've been living under a rock recently or you're not from the UK, you would know that there's a new YouTube event called Hello World. Basically, there's been a lot of bad press. Would you call it press? I don't even know. Is it even that big? I don't even know. There's been a lot of bad words about this event and I'm going to go through what happened at the event for you guys watching that didn't actually go to the event. I'm just such a nice guy. I care about all you guys. I want you to know all the drama and all the gossip. That's why you should be subscribing to me because I'm an absolute legend. Realistically though, I am quite funny so like subscribe. I look pale. I look permanently ill. Okay, so on my three hour journey home from Birmingham, I wrote so much stuff about what happened at Hello World. Like it's low-key so beefy. This video is going to be a long video so sit back and relax and try not to kill yourself. It's going to be great. Okay, to start the drama off, I'm gonna throw a few tweets on the screen right now. Uh, here are some beefy tweets. Oh my god, it's so crazy. Holy shit. People are angry and it's kind of weird. Not gonna lie, I feel like the only angry people are the people that didn't actually come to the event, but that's none of my business. Tea, haha. <laughs> okay, so here are some of the things I wrote down on my phone. Okay, so let's talk about the event layout. I said here, the event layout was cool, like the seating around the arena was fun, and there being a main stage was different to any other event. So there was a massive room and there were like seats around the room. It was kind of like the O2 arena. I'll put in a picture right now for you. You guys. It was like that kind of vibe, so it was kind of chill. And all the YouTubers would be on the main stage talking, doing some crazy shit. You know how it is. Like, that setup is low-key cool. That hasn't been done before in the UK, so that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Now we're moving on to the organization, which was really bad, actually. The timings for YouTubers doing things on different stages were, like, completely off. My friend had a talking thing at 2pm, but it started at 3pm, for instance. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's low-key so bad. Why were things not on time? Who knows? I have no clue what was going on backstage for everyone to be late for their own performance thing, but I don't know, what can you do about it? Absolutely nothing. People were definitely salty about waiting around to watch their favorite YouTuber on the stage, which I kind of like can relate. Like, I, if I was waiting around for something, I'd be pissed off. That's only because I'm impatient as frick though. Like literally, I cannot wait like two minutes for something. It has to happen now. So I can only imagine what all the viewers were thinking at that point. Next, I said there was nothing to do at the event. Like the only YouTubers that were there were us. Like low-key us. If my friendship group 
weren't there, this event would low-key be so bad. Like, straight up, I feel like me and my friends were the only YouTubers there walking around. But that's also because we weren't on the lineup, so like, what could you do about it? We only went to this event to see you guys, though, so like, I don't really know why else we'd be there. Like, straight up, I didn't see any YouTubers backstage, like, leave to go into the main bit to meet viewers, but that's none of my business. I guess not all YouTubers are as nice as me. That's a joke, I literally am not even that nice. There were so many people on Twitter that were salty about that, so that's probably, like, one of the reasons of why people were hating on Twitter about the event. YouTubers didn't meet their fans, they made no effort. Basically, on my notes, I wrote good and bad things, so like, don't get too confused, okay? I said here that meeting you guys was honestly so crazy, it literally made my day. I went on a Saturday and Sunday, and I honestly can't actually tell you how many people I met. I'd definitely say over like 500 to 600 people. That's honestly so mad to me, and the fact I went to this event not being on the lineup, and I had that much, like, surroundance by me. Surroundance? Is that a word? I don't know, but I'm gonna make it a word. Honestly, you guys blow my mind every time, and the fact that people were crying when they saw me is just absolutely mind-blowing. I'm just a boy from England talking shit to a camera, and you guys are getting emotional over it. That's crazy, like, I'm gonna start crying real quick. But realistically, I love you guys so much with all my heart that I don't have. I legit have no emotions, so yeah, like, what's good? I can't believe how late it is I'm filming a video, I'm low-key so crazy. Why the fuck is there a pumpkin in the kitchen? Who the fuck did that shit? That's so weird. Oh yeah, this is low-key beefy. The VIP section that people paid over a hundred pound for was legit just a table and chair. Like, I'm not gonna lie, that was basically all there was. That shit wasn't a VIP section. For one, I wasn't in it, and for two, it was low-key shit, so like, it wasn't VIP. Isn't VIP supposed to be luxury shit? Because if so, that wasn't luxury. That was more like school, aka hell. <laughs> okay, so that's enough talking about the event. Now I'm gonna move on to the juicy shit that you guys definitely want to know. I am going to expose a few people, bitch. Not really, but like, Loki kind of. Okay, so let's talk about my first interaction with Alfie Days. I didn't actually meet him, but like, I, like he saw me and I saw him. We made awkward eye contact, but like it's Loki chill. My first interaction, I sound like a fan. Like I Loki sound like a fan. That's probably because I am. <laughs> my first interaction with like Alfie Days and his group was when we went to the hotel for like an after party kind of thing. There wasn't a party, but there was like a hotel that everyone went to and had a few drinks at. I walked into this hotel and to walk through the hotel, Hotel and get to the table my friends were at. I had to walk past Alfie and his group of friends. Now, this was intimidating for me because I knew all of them probably disliked me from like the beef that me and Alfie had. I don't have a problem with people hating me, it's just the fact that when I feel awkward, I get awkward and it's annoying. So there I am by myself walking to my friends, walking past Alfie Days and his squad, and I just feel all their eyes looking at me. And I was like, if I turn around now, that would be the most awkward thing ever. You know, when you're in such an awkward situation, you forget how to walk. Literally me. Like, it just wasn't a fun time. Let's not do that again. But then after that, the night was low-key so shit. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I went to bed at like 1am. It was so dead, I wanted to die. But now we're moving on to the thing that I actually wanted to talk about that like has triggered me all day. Like, the thing is, the shit I'm talking about right now happened today and yesterday, so it's low-key on my mind so much still. Oh my god, it's actually so weird thinking of it. Okay, so like, how do I even explain this? Okay, so if you've been a fan of my channel for like a little while. You would know I made a video ages ago called something like exposing a fake YouTuber. I was in LA at the time with my YouTube friends and I basically got a question from a Q&A video saying something along the lines of expose a fake YouTuber. My petty ass is out here saying Ollie White's name. Which YouTuber is overrated? I must say Ollie White. The only reason I said Ollie White's name is because he's been a bit rude to some of my friends in the past and I don't know it's kind of triggered me a lot. I've just heard a lot of bad stuff about him and I just I just don't think I'd get along with him, do you know what I mean? But oh my god, like it just got so awkward. And pretty much I was with Spencer and we were just chilling for the time being. So me and Spencer were in the green room and we got some food and I was like, okay, let's go somewhere else. Let's go meet some viewers. As we're walking out, a bunch of people barged in and we were like, okay, we were held back. And then I noticed a guy in a white jacket uh, stop there, opening the door for me and Spencer. Turns out it was Ollie and I was like, oh, like cool, like this is low-key awkward. Like, hi, thanks. He opened the door for me and said, after you. I said, thanks. That was it. Ten minutes later, we're somewhere else in the backstage park. Backstage was kind of big, so there was a lot of sections you could be in, if that makes sense. So me and Spencer were stood backstage somewhere, and all of a sudden, I got like a tap on the back. It was Ollie White. 
Woohoo! What's up, buddy? Um, I don't know. Weird. It, it was so weird. I have, like, a slight feeling that, like, a few big YouTubers are gonna be watching this video. Um, I just wanna say, like, I don't hate any of you, and the fact that you all think I hate you is low-key so cringe. Um, that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, yeah, I don't hate you. Carry on making videos. Woohoo! Let's all be friends. Let's go for a few drinks. Let's party. Ollie basically said hey to me, like, how you doing? What's up? And then he instantly got to the beach. He literally just went in, he mentioned the beef, he was saying all this stuff. At first, I think he was mentioning the Alfie Days beef, and I was kind of like, ah, like, yeah, like, low-key awkward, but, like, it's past now, like, it's kind of irrelevant. But then, the whole entire time, I think he was actually talking about the beef with Ollie. I don't even know why this is even- I don't even know why this was a thing. I don't know why Ollie thought I hated him this much, but, like, here you are. I guess he's a fan of my channel, what can you say? Realistically, who isn't a fan of my channel? I don't know. So, obviously, I've made Ollie seem a bit fake online and stuff like that and he was like kind of upset about that He was trying really hard to get his point across that he wasn't a bad person to me I was feeling so awkward at this point But I was explaining to him the only reason I dislike him is just because my friends have told me so much bad stuff about him He's been mean to a few of my friends in the past, but I guess it's irrelevant now Like I'm not gonna talk about it like that shit's over and done with like, let's move on you feel I'm not really the type to hold grudges. I don't have time. I don't really give a shit either It's literally Literally 2017. I'd let you stab me in the face. And I'd probably forgive you the next day. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so me and Ollie were having a long ass conversation about life pretty much. And he was like, How did you guys enjoy the show? He did a section in the show, and I, like, low key, like, I was so sarcastic. I was being really, like, I wasn't being bitchy, but, like, my tone was so dry. Like, the way I was talking was so, like, like, it wasn't like, it was. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I hope it does. I said something along the lines of like, oh yeah, you did a great performance, like congrats, you did so well on stage. He was like drawn back by it, like he kind of froze and was like, that means a lot coming from someone like you. He basically knew my personality, so that kind of really confused me, the fact that he knew I was like a negative person. Like, you know how in my videos I'm like beefy, bitchy, and annoying, like he knew that, so like I don't know how many videos he's watched of mine, but that made me super uncomfortable, I don't know why. It just did. Like, low-key, who is out there watching my videos that I don't know about? I'm scared. So, me and Ollie talked more about the beef, and we were kind of clearing the air until... Oh, this is where it gets annoying. This part stresses me out so much just because it wasn't needed. I low-key need some water to tell you this because it's actually pissing me off. Okay, so here's where the drama like rolls in, do you know what I mean? All of a sudden, I'm talking to Ollie, having a convo, clearing the beef, like, we don't have drama, it's all cool, let's be friends. And then, all of a sudden, this random girl and this random guy come up from behind me. I didn't realize, but this girl and guy were actually listening to mine and Ollie's whole conversation. Me and Ollie were talking for like six minutes. Minutes, let's say and I had no clue these people were behind me the guy said something to me in his weird annoying accent and said you drop something my phone was ringing at the time and I thought he meant my phone and I looked down and was like what you dropped your balls um okay you just seem a bit tense that's all okay well I'm not yeah well you just seem tense okay thanks yeah you just seem tense okay I understand you're trying to make a point shut the fuck up you know when you're in an awkward situation and some little shit shout. You're going bright red and you go even more fucking red. Like that was how I was feeling right now. This fucking guy was so rude. It pissed me off. I'm swearing because I'm angry. Like I don't want to swear but like I'm literally triggered so I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do. And when this guy said I dropped my balls whatever uh, the girl was low-key Ollie White's girlfriend and I had no clue until now. She was hysterically laughing in my face. Like proper trying to intimidate me. Like I'm not being funny. You guys are like 25 and I'm like 19. Like it's all chill. Like laugh a bit more. Do you know what I mean? At this point it was three against one, so obviously I was feeling a bit awkward. What I didn't understand was the guy that said, you dropped your balls, whatever, him calling me tense was, like, so out of order, because, like, he was acting like he knew who I was. Like, how would you know if I was tense anyway? Like, sorry, I forgot you hang out with me every single day, so you know when I'm tense or not? Like, shut the fuck up, you absolute freak. After they mugged me off, they then walked away and I shouted, don't know who you are anyway, couldn't give a shit either way. I then look at Ollie and I'm like, who are your friends? He's like, oh, they're just my friends from home. And he was, like, smirking 
smirking and I was like, okay, well, they're pretty annoying. So that happened and it was just so weird. It was such a weird experience. So at this point, I was low-key triggered and I was like fed up with the whole situation. I was like, okay, like, Ollie, we don't have beef. Like, it's fine. I'm gonna leave now. Like, realistically, Ollie, I was liking you at that point, but the fact that your friends were there to like kind of laugh at me and take the piss out of me was a bit disrespectful. I don't care what I've done in the past if I've like said your name in a bad way, but I low-key couldn't give a shit. But like the fact that you were coming over to me to explain you weren't a bad person, but then your friends were like laughing in my face, it was a bit dickish. Other than that, you seemed okay. I guess I don't really know you that well, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna judge you on. His manager then called him over to do some rehearsal type shit. But before I left, I just didn't feel like I, I could leave in a good way, do you know what I mean? I went over to Ollie and was like, yo, like it was nice speaking to you, it was good talking to you, sorry for like what's happened, we don't have any beef, like we're all chill. We literally shook on it and he's like, I appreciate it so much, man, like it's all cool, like see you soon, bro. That was pretty much it. So I guess the beef between me and any other YouTuber at the moment is completely cleared. I am no longer using Ollie White's name or Alfie's name in my videos. So that's literally everything that happened at Hello World. Um, that's probably what you guys wanted to know. I don't know if it is or not, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Personally, my all-round experience from the event is that I had a good time. Like, I genuinely had a good time. If you guys went to Hello World, let me know down in the comments of what you actually thought of the event. Like, what was the best part of the event for you? Was it meeting me? Was it meeting Alfie? Was it meeting Ollie? Who knows? Let me know. Honestly, this weekend was so eventful, it's not even a joke. But yeah, that's pretty much my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like such a mess right now. I'm literally in my pajamas, sat on my kitchen floor at one in the morning. I'm literally gonna go sleep for 12 days now. So yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm posting vlogs from the event literally so soon after this video. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed and make sure you are active on my channel. Make sure you guys are following me on all my social medias. My links will be down below. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out, homies. Bye. <laughs>